in this short video we're going to learn how to find the radius and interval of convergence of a power series the traditional method used the uh, ratio test but sometimes what can happen when you have a long expression uh, the process can be really lengthy um, because you have to consider two terms but when you instead of when you try to use the root test you can see that you can get the answer much quicker but it's, uh, but there's a restriction uh, you cannot use the uh, this argument when you're going to see uh, factorial terms because the uh, when you try to find the nth root of a factorial uh, that that's going to go to infinity um, and you can see that from a, um, uh, from a video in the description uh, so that means if you do not have factorial it may be a good idea to use the um, root test so let's look at this problem so let's say um, uh, we can have this problem so let's say we have this problem uh, negative 1 to n plus 1 x minus 2 to the n divided by n uh, 3 to the n plus 1 now you have to be very careful uh, you can see that there's a n in the denominator since there's n in the denominator you cannot start with uh, n equals 0 so instead uh, we're going to start with n equal 1 or any other number to infinity so that's something you need to pay attention okay so let's say we have this problem uh, and then you can see that there's no factorial so we're gonna we're gonna use the uh, root test so when you use the root test um, so we're gonna say uh, so use a root, a root test your root test so in the root test what we're gonna do we're gonna calculate what they call the row uh, which is the limit uh, n goes to infinity uh, nth root of the nth term so it is a n that's the nth term we take the absolute value and take the nth root we calculate this uh, so nth root of the nth term uh, so that means it's a limit n goes to infinity so it is negative 1 n uh, plus 1 uh, we have uh, x minus 2 to the uh, n divided by n 3 n plus 1 absolute value and then uh, we can take the nth root of that good now since we are taking the absolute value we can this is simply uh, 1 so this goes to 1 so that means we can ignore that uh, and then uh, you can see that the bottom terms are positive so we don't need the absolute sign for that so that means we can write this like this so you can say this is the limit n goes to infinity so we have x minus 2 absolute value and you can see that it is n power nth root it's like that and in the bottom what's going to happen this is going to be n to the nth root and then here we can split this 3 n plus 1 into 2 so we can write this one as 3 just to make that we do that 3 n nth root and then uh, 1 means 3 so 3 to the 1 so uh, nth root so that's what you get now you can see that a um, few th terms goes to 1 for example when n goes to infinity in the limit uh, you can see that um, so this goes to 1 and also this goes to 1 because we know that uh, we know these two results uh, what are the two results uh, n nth root of n so nth root of n goes to 1 and for any positive a um, nth root of a goes to 1 okay this only works for positive a as uh, n goes to infinity so for positive a this only works for positive a so we know those two results nth root of n goes to 1 nth root of any constant goes to 1 so because of that so it's going to go away and then uh, here n and n uh, 1 now n get cancelled and the same thing happens there so that means you simply get uh, x minus uh, 2 
so and also there's a one third so it's better to uh, write like this so only thing left is absolute value of x minus 2 and 3 so we can write this one as one third x minus 2 now so that is the limit you get okay so once you find the nth root it's very simple you can get uh, this now what do you want to know from the root test we know that if this is less than 1 if this is less than 1 so this is if okay if this is less than 1 um, the series converge absolutely that implies that the series converge okay so if okay so this is if uh, so we can uh, write uh, if now this row okay row which is one third x minus two less than one uh, series converge actually in other uh, what happened is, is absolutely converge okay so absolutely that means it's converges okay so and then we can use this fact uh, to find the radius of convergence and what we can do we can multiply both sides by Three. So we can write this one as so we have one third uh, x minus two less than one, and if you multiply both sides by three, this implies that x minus two uh, less than three. So that is the radius of convergence. Okay, that's the radius of convergence. So you can say radius of convergence. Radius of convergence. Uh, is r equal 3 so what does that mean it means that um, you if you start with uh, 2 you can go 3 uh, both sides so if you write this as uh, so so you can say there is there is uh, so we can write this one as x minus 2 is uh, in between 3 and negative 3 that's what the algebra says now we can add 3 uh, 2 to both sides so if you add two to both sides uh, you can see that uh, so we can add that extra line it's not really uh, necessary but i'm going to write for uh, clarity so less than x less than three plus two so you can get negative one uh, less than x uh, less than five so uh, that means you can see that uh, if you draw the number line uh, so we have five here five and then negative three so that means if you pick any value in between these two values if you pick any value between five and negative one series gonna converge okay series gonna convert so that's zero so series gonna convert for any value like that so the problem is um so you can pick any x if you pick any x here so series gonna converge the problem is what's going to happen in the corner so that we don't know whether that's going to happen so what we can do we're going to pick those values separately and test whether it's going to converge or not so we can say at let's say x equal negative one okay so if you go with uh, uh, x equal negative one so let's plug in that value to the original series so our series was sigma and going from one to infinity we have negative one uh, n plus 1 and then x was uh, so at x equal negative 3 if you plug in negative 3 what was going to happen is is, uh, is negative 1 negative 2 to the um, n divided by n and then 3 n plus 1 so that's what we have so let's simplify this a little bit so this is sigma n going from 1 to infinity uh, we have negative 1 uh, to the n plus 1 and then we have negative 3 to the n over n 3 n plus 1 so the best way to uh, do this is um, you can write the negative 3 n like this so we can write this one as uh, like this so we can say this is simply equals to uh, sigma n going from 1 to infinity negative 1 n plus 1 and then again this is uh, you can say this is uh, another negative n and 3 n divided by n 3 n I'm going to split this as 3 okay now what you can see is there are some simplification this can uh, cancel out 
and then you have negative 1 to the um, n plus 1 and negative 1 to the n so that means in total negative 1 to the 2n plus 1 and that's what happens so that means you can write this one as sigma n going from 1 to infinity negative 1 to the 2n plus 1 um, and in the bottom you have only uh, 3n so we have 3n so you can see that negative 1 to the n plus 1 means n plus 2n plus 1 is odd number so odd number means is negative 1 to the odd power means always negative so that means you can pull that negative sign and the 3 out so you can say 1 over uh, so negative 1 over 3 and sigma you can say n going from 1 to infinity 1 over n that we know n going from 1 to infinity 1 over n that's the uh, p series with p equal 1 so diverge so this series diverge because you can see that p equal 1 which is less than or equal to 1 so diverge so the series diverge so that means at uh, negative 1 series gonna diverge so that means so open uh, end the, at negative 1 so we're gonna do a similar calculation at uh, 5 so let's do the same thing with 5 uh, that means at uh, x equal 5 so let's do that uh, at x equal 5 so we can do a similar calculation uh, so it is sigma n going from 1 to infinity negative 1 uh, n plus 1 now we have we add 5 so it is 5 minus 2 to the n divided by n 3 n plus 1 this is exactly like before so sigma n going from 1 to infinity negative 1 n plus 1 so we have 3 n now in the bottom is n as before this is 3n times 3 and then 3n 3n get cancelled so you have one third we can pull it out so if you pull that out we can write this one as one third sigma n going from 1 to infinity uh, we have negative 1 to the n plus 1 uh, 1 over n and you can see that this is a alternating series so since this is alternating series uh, what we're going to do is we can use alternating series test uh, to use the alternating series test uh, what we normally do is we're going to pick uh, this term as uh, bn so i'm going to call it uh, bn so we're going to pick this one as uh, bn it's a kind of standard trick and then we can notice few things uh, so we notice that uh, uh, bn equal 1 over n uh, which goes to 0 as n goes to infinity which goes to 0 as n goes to infinity um, and we also notice that because of 1 of n you can see that uh, uh, b n plus 1 which is 1 over n plus 1 is less than or equal to um, So you can say let's say less than okay so less than uh, one of n which is b n okay so for all n uh, for all n greater than equal one okay so that means uh, so this is a it's, it's called zero and the uh, it's a decreasing so those are the two points for the alternating series and this is alternating so therefore by uh, alternating series test uh, so you can see that uh, sigma uh, negative 1 n plus 1 bn uh, converges okay for the already series test those are the two conditions so it says that it's going to converge so therefore um, at x equal 5 series converge so that means finally we can draw this line and we can mark these uh, points so we have so that's the number line and you notice that at negative 1 it's going to diverge as open dot at 5 it's going to converge as a class dot okay so that means uh, the uh, interval of convergence is in between those two uh, including uh, 5 and excluding negative 1 so that means we can write the interval of convergence interval of convergence interval of convergence 
is i equal this interval so you can see uh, which is open at negative 1 close at 5 so that's how we write it. okay so that's the interval of convergence which is going from negative 1 to 5 and the radius of convergence was 3